Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. On Wednesday, July 17, 2024, I had the opportunity to visit with Brian Wilhoyt, Senior Designer Product Development for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. This is the second part of Brian's office tour. So this is a real cool, I've got the round box. shell, huh? Yeah, but the cool thing about this pattern is it's a tra trapper jack. Do you remember trapper jacks? Uh, yeah, it's got a, it's got a, a it's got the, the it, same, the same, it's like the trapper yeah, it, blade and then it's got a jack. Yeah, it's a, it's got a pin blade instead. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a long pin blade, but. Yeah. But so that's actually almost like, almost a big Skinner and a little Skinner blade almost. Yeah, and we, we bought that's a collection. Nice. They were some uh, old bulldogs. And okay. they had a knife called the, the Trapper Jack. And so that's it's got that nice clip. Yeah. So it's just an unusual version. That's kind of cool. The, yeah. And you're going to do it in tortoise. Yep. Yeah, this will be Marble's tortoise. And then this is the mm -hmm. Camp King. If I can turn it right. But that's a... That is not your uh, typical Camp King. That's just a two blade. Yeah, it's a two blade, but it's actually an old, an old knife that we found. That you know, just yeah, we thought it was just cool, and we hadn't seen it before. That is so. nice. It's uh, it's basically an equal in jack. Yeah, and it does something. have a deep channel. Yeah, but so the blade is not going to wrap. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so. Mm. And then we all, you know, we always talk about old books. So like this right here, romance, when you go to flea markets, I, I suggest this to all knife collectors or designers. If you see any kind of old knife books, pick them up because that's what we do. You yeah. Know? And then they're chocked full of patterns and, you know, what they used them for. Um, look, a nail neck. <laughs> or a, an easy pull, old queen knives, you know, it's just all these books. Um, cause you and I had a conversation about your books and stuff yeah. and how, how good, like uh, these are all my go-to books. Uh, old price guide, king cutter, all these. And then, you know, there's some old books wow. here from, you know, all over the Remington, like I was saying about the Rough Rider Reserve. A couple of these, uh, you see all these uh, pieces of paper hanging out of it are patterns that we all kind of looked at. Old IXL. So I ask anybody when they get into this, you know, look through these books and get some education. And that way when you see a lot of these old knives brought back to life, you'll understand better yeah. of why we do what we do. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of important. Yeah. If you're going to get into the hobby, eventually you need to start buying some books. And like, I found it, all these handwritten notes here. Uh, cool, neat old patterns. Um, and I have a couple of books at my de under my desk that's over 100 years old. And when I bring them out and show you, you'll think that it was something from Indiana Jones or something, you know. And I gotta just make sure I keep my camera right. Yeah. So these are all of our samples and stuff. Uh, like, you know, we had people complain about our, um, the, um, the Highland buoy yeah. not being full tang. We'll just show you the pains that we went through to make sure, you know. So this is where the controversy started. Yeah. And everybody wanted full tang. So I took the, we went back to the drawing board and I took all these apart. So this is the full tang version that's out now. And that, as you can see, you can see how the guard is put together. Yeah, in three pieces now. Three pieces now and pinned. But we, we want everybody to know how we listen, you know, because when we first heard that, I took this one apart, understood the issue, 
pulled everything, stopped shipment, and then we redid it. I mean, we sat on these for almost a year to make sure that we got it right. So, but you know, this is. So the older ones are really not a collector's item. Well, <laughs> I think they will be. I think they will be. So anyway, that's just uh, marble samples, all the different stuff. The, the wall on the other side is the owner's wall where he finds collections that he's interested in. So he, um, Kevin's, that's Kevin's collection of stuff that he uh, wants me to hold on to and keep clean for him. There's some old I see the old Zorro up there. Yeah, Zorro. We've got the Zorro bullwhip up there too. We did it. Uh, old Roy Rogers hanging over there. This Joe Case from Case Cutlery. Come on, Job. <laughs> but it's just like his. These are the ones Brian, he wants hold to keep. On to this, but so I'm the I'm the keeper of all things odd. And when I mean odd, you know, there's like some stuff that you've there's a knife that Skip would like up there. That's an old sailor's knife, I'd say. I got that one. That's a uh, <laughs> yeah. Vicorium. Yeah. There's four knives in that series. Only one of them was that way. That's a nice little, uh, I love the uh, relief knives like this. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a bunch of them up, up top there. And then we got these. Now that, that leg knife has turned into a, uh, Rough Rider. I've seen yeah. the Rough Rider like that. The blade is what's so interesting because they they've almost put a kukri <laughs> style <laughs> blade on it to go down that knee. That's interesting. Yeah. And this was uh, is this you guys working or is this Baron's son working here? That's me. That's you? Yeah. You are you like looking at making all three of those those are the, those were the old cannon knives aren't they yeah so like yeah nice i got that set. that's a nice set kevin's custom little push dagger that's ivory that's ivory yeah man it looked like wood yeah it's ivory though huh? oh, i like the back of that that is nice yeah and then these are old uh, bolster stamps. So this is straight out of a factory. So, uh, so they stamp them. In. So my uh, the uh, stroke of luck bolsters. Yeah. And a lot of were old antique bolster stamps that I brought back to life. Uh, and so you you use uh, something like that, and did you have to modify some of them, or were yeah. they all in there? Yeah, they all had to be a little modified and everything. Okay. But these we never used, but this came from the National Knife Museum. Okay. So uh, Pete Cohan gifted me quite a few things, like the uh, sleeve board of uh, old shields. Oh, that is nice. Everybody's on there. This is one of those shields that I'm always looking for on a knife and it's so hard to get. Yeah. And I think that was a Camillus one. They might have used, other people might have used it too. I don't know. That's the other thing. So many shields are used by multiple companies. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's the shape of it pretty much becomes part of the of what they call a community shape. Yeah. You know, so. Can I get a, some yeah. shots of the few knives back here that you. What about that brown, the, the nice one that I got there next to that moonshine barrel? Which one are you talking? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we can skip that one. <laughs> what I'm more interested in is uh, we have a, uh, the three knives that I was unable to get. Yeah. One of them right there is your, your Christmas tree trapper from last year. Yeah. That was really fantastic. And then this was your, what was this one called? The Celtic? 
Yeah, it's Celtic Knot that I did. Okay, for the, the Celtic Knot. Case Family Reunion event. And, and then, then this is the rattlesnake. And then. And the backside of the barbed wire, right? Yeah. So you, so you had to buy them yourself though now too, right? Oh well, <laughs> you know, I know people. Oh, you know people. Okay. <laughs> So you got a, a slight discount. <laughs> yeah. I think most of you know the uh, Rough Rider Stonework series is one of my favorites. And if you're familiar with this series, then you're probably also aware of another series that looks very much like it. And that's the Schrade Custom Shop. And the reason it looks like the uh, Rough Rider Stonework series is because the Schrade Custom Series knives were made by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And so now, if you're out there collecting the Stoneworks knives, there's a whole lot more of them out there for you to look for. I'm not sure if this fixed blade went into production or not, but it should. The highly sought after electrician knife with the small ball peen hammer. Special thanks to Greg and Brian for being such gracious hosts and the fantastic access to SMKW. Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with the Pies. I really do appreciate it and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.